Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to um, Nimbus Capital uh, Volume Spread Analysis Video Series. So in this video, uh, we'll be looking through lots and lots and lots of examples on how we apply volume spread analysis. So instead of me giving you like a textbook, one big chunk of um, theories for you to go and read, uh, simply by looking at the actual market and trying to apply this, that is the best approach to go about learning a particular strategy. I would say so for today right uh, we will be looking at bitcoin yes uh, bitcoin is something that i have never touched before crypto is the uncharted area for me uncharted water i, I never really did my fit into them but um of course uh, in crypto, we have lots and lots of other cryptos, but uh, I'll be focusing on only Bitcoin today because I believe Bitcoin is the grand granddaddy, the grandfather of all crypto, and, and I think it is one of the more safer one right now out there that is not at the risk of getting rug pulled. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I'll be using this Bitcoin as an example. So so be very mindful. This is not a trade call to buy Bitcoin or sell Bitcoin, but this is a volume spread analysis to show you how to apply VSA on actual charts. So please don't look at this video with the intention that you want a buy call or a sell call at the end. Okay, those are not the aim of this series. Huh? <laughs> okay, so let's look at Bitcoin way back in the earlier days somewhere around 2018-2019 where we have the first rally where the stocks goes up from sorry the bitcoin goes up from 2000 all the way to 18,000 and right here during the fall after it peaks out at about 20k and we have the first so-called the plunge in bitcoin and from here right at this point you can actually see the support have been established here. We have a support that was established at about 6,000 and this was previously also established somewhere here, okay? So this is what I mean by established support, meaning uh, price have rebounded, price have already rebounded. So that support has been established. <laughs> so uh, let's allow the chart to move forward and see how the price perform. You can see that once the support is established, the counters tend to slow down, slow down. I mean, yes, it is it is still coming down, but it is sort of um, going flat somewhere close to the support area. Um, what, why is this happening? Why do you think that this is happening? This is because obviously, initially, we have a lot of, lot, lot of buyer, a lot of seller, but towards here, we have many panic selling, panic selling, but somewhere along this, Point, right um, actually all the panic seller have already sold out so at this level probably buyers are coming in also so we have like a equi balance of buyers and sellers that are coming in so now the thing here is you don't know you have no idea there's no way for you to find out how many buyers are waiting how many sellers are waiting here so they are actually sort of um, playing out with one another. Hence, you see a price going stagnant. Okay, price going uh, in a in in when when buyer and seller finds a balance in a price, the price tend to remain stagnant. So as a trader, right? As a trader, we want to look out for this balance point where price sort of flattens out, because it once the price flattens out, right? You leave it alone for a while then the sharp move will come soon. But we don't know how soon, maybe in one month, two months, three months, four months, we don't know. The reason why we don't know is because, once again, we do not know how many buyers are looking here, how many sellers are looking there. So these are people that is looking at it, waiting on the sideline, don't know what to do, don't know what to buy or sell. So until either side is exhausted, either the seller has exhausted or the buyer has been exhausted, then, there will be an imbalance created and price will start to move again. So now, now, now the thing here is we have found a balance point. We have found an equilibrium point, but the next question is, we don't know which side is going to be exhausted first. 
if the selling side is exhausted, then there is still demand, then Bitcoin will move up. But if let's say the buying side is exhausted, then the seller will continue to sell and then Bitcoin will move down. So at this point, right, it is a 50-50, but at least you know the 50-50 is going to fork out from this level at this price here. At least you know that already. So uh, does this mean that you want to trade at this period? You Meaning if you trade during this period, it is basically a coin flip, whether whether a buyer win or seller win is like a 50-50, you are sort of um, throwing a coin like that. And, and as a trader, that's not the approach we really want to take. So what we want is we want to sort of see the first sign, the first hint of which side is winning. Okay, but before we even see the first hint, we must see something else first, and that is exhaustion. Exhaustion in seller or exhaustion in buyer. But we have no way to tell whether is it a buyer exhaustion or is it a seller exhaustion. You can only see an exhaustion that is happening. And the way we see this exhaustion, right, is the volume will decrease. While the price remains stagnant, the volume will become lower and lower and lower and lower. Why? Why? Because, because less people are selling, less people are buying. So even if there are like 10,000 buyers, if only five people is selling to you, then there will only be five transactions that will be taking place. Meaning if, if 5,000 people want to buy, but only five people want to sell, your volume transacted will only be five. That 5,000 buyers is like waiting around. So these 5,000, they are like ghosts. You cannot see them on the chart. Similarly for seller, right? If there are 5,000 sellers, but only five buyers, then the transaction will only be a volume of five. That, that, that 5,000 seller will not appear yet and, and they, they are still looking around. So at one point when the seller or buyer realized that, eh, actually how, there's no more buyer ready. Uh, there's, there's the, 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 the volume is getting smaller and smaller. There's no more buyer ready. So, so, so what, 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 what if eventually um, no one want to buy, buy from me? Then how then that is when the seller, that 5,000 seller will immediately dump and price will go all the way down. Or similarly, when the buyer realized that, hey, actually no one want to sell to me ready, maybe I should start buying. Uh, if not, if not, uh, I might not have the chance ready. Then the 5,000 buyer will suddenly appear in the market and buy, then price will go up. So until that happens, uh, you will see an exhaustion happening, okay? So what we want is we want to see extremely, extremely small volume. Price, uh, price remains stagnant, but the volume has retraced to very, very small amount. So as we look at this, right? As we look at the price go, you can sort of tell, you can sort of tell, you can see here how the volume is decreasing. That is absorption taking place. And you can see that the price range also become narrower and narrower. That is absorption taking place and now we want to know which size, which side is going to exhaust first. So let's just let it run. What do you see here? Now it's like super narrow, super narrow. The volume is like from here all the way down here already. Extremely narrow. Then something happened. That's a spike. The equilibrium has been broken. So the seller realized, the seller realized that, okay, um, Seems like there's not much people buying from us. The volume is very, very low. No one want to buy from us really. So I think we better sell now. If not, the, there won't be any more buyer and we can't sell already. So the seller now start to unload. And now we can see that the seller actually wins. The seller, the seller are the one that is um, um, sort of um, sort of overwhelming, creating the imbalance this time. And once you see that first hint, how do you see that first hint? You will see it from a very big red candle and a sudden increase in volume, a sudden increase in volume. It, it is showing that the sellers are coming out of their shadow. They are no longer waiting to sell, but they are the one that is initiating the sell. Okay, so they doesn't care, buyer, no buyer already. They want to quickly sell and get out already. So the, the volume, suddenly increase. That is when you can place your shot. 
wait for this. That is when things are clear, then you can place your shop. Then that is where you will make money. So if you decide to go and shop here or buy here, it is still a question mark. We don't know what's going on. It is, it is still a question mark. But if you are patient and you look, you know what to look out for, then you place your trade. There is more likelihood that you will be in the right direction. This is not a hundred percent. This is not a hundred percent. There can be a situation where things just spike down there. After that, there is even more demand here, and then it will just spike all the way up. But but uh, overall, overall, if you are skillful at looking out for this and doing this right, your overall trading performance will increase by a huge amount by definitely a significant amount and um, once again this is um, it just the probability just increase it is not like 100% it will happen like this so please don't go and like go all in la, those kind of stuff but but this is a way to increase your um, trading winning percentage this happened everywhere this happened in bitcoin happened in stock maybe a uh, forex i'm not quite sure forex not so much but it happened mainly in um uh the 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 equity market and the crypto crypto market lah, where things are more prone to min manipulation forex are uh, very hard to be manipulated but but for stock and bitcoin is is much more easily controlled by the smart money hence um you tend to see this pattern very very clear so if i sort of um you can see right here the how the volume is decreased and how the count how Bitcoin broke down. Okay, so let me give you an example of a bullish bullish moment that sort of shows a similar pattern. Somewhere here. Somewhere here, okay. So now, now we are in the um, the other the other from the other perspective, lah. So now we have a resistance. We have a resistance here. We have a resistance here, and as we reach this resistance, you see price start to narrows out. We have seller looking here. We have buyer looking here. We don't know what it, what is what, but we can see that. It is exhausting. Volume is becoming very thin. It is exhausting. So we don't know whether seller exhausting or the buyer exhausting. Whichever one, we don't know. But we do not want to gamble. We want to wait for proper signal. So once you see that spike, you see this sudden spike here, this one, you know that buyers are winning. Buyers overwhelm. Buyers are creating the imbalance. Buyers are taking the initiative to go in. So what you basically want to do is you just simply uh, set, a, set a very good stop loss and then just let the whole thing run and you will be able to get a very, very good trade. So you can see this drop here. Now the key thing here is aside from looking out for this kind of trade setup, aside of looking out for this kind of volume, you also need to be very, very proficient in setting your stop loss properly because if you set your stop loss wrongly, right, you are going to miss out this whole thing. So uh, to be a good trader, there, there is two points, two things you need to know. One, setting your stop loss properly. Two, able to scout out this volume exhaustion and able to go and find which are the stock that is experiencing volume exhaustion and wait for the right signal. If you want to do it, if you want to learn this properly, uh, my course is available. It is a three-month course. Within the three months, I will teach you how to master this process. And not only that, I will watch you and I will make sure that you are doing it correctly out on the real market. So it is not like I teach you and then I throw you out there, but I will watch you. I will watch you how you pick your stock. I will watch you place the trade and then I will watch your closing trade to see whether you are doing it correctly or not. So that's why my course is three months long. And although it is considered the most expensive $3,000, but in terms of per hour price, it is definitely the cheapest out there because the value that you get from cost 
is not the content. You can learn the content on the internet very easily. You can find them. But the value comes from the coaching portion. Me putting in the personal time to go and look at whether you are doing things correctly or not. You can pay thousands of dollars to many, many courses, but you won't learn a single thing simply because they are just um, info dumping. Uh, after you go ready, you don't even know how to apply. You don't even know what you are doing right or wrong. So that's, that's, that's so, um, it's something for you to consider if you are very interested and if you wish to learn more. So just to give you a small tip. So what's happening right now is very simple. There is a balance here. We have the balance that is forming here, but as this goes on, price will narrow down volume will slowly decrease and we will see which side it spikes and we will wait for that first spike and we will take that trade so now if you ask me bullish or bearish i don't know things are in the balance right now <laughs> not bullish not bearish but once we see that balance being broken right i am looking to take my first big bitcoin trade also so i'm truly looking forward to this so I hope everyone enjoys this um, video. And yes, if you wish to learn more, do visit my website. Sorry, this is my, <laughs> let, me, uh, let me go to this. Okay, yeah, so do 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 visit my website, uh, nimbuscapital.info, not .com, and you will be able to learn more about how we approach trading. Uh. Okay, guys, uh, thank you very much.